My name is Justin Mortensen, and I work in the education and research department of Husqvarna, the Viking factory in Sweden. My colleagues and I study the trend in textiles and clothing, and it's part of our job to make sure that Viking sewing machines always keep pace with the developments in this field. Yes, and the biggest thing that's happened to fabrics in recent years is the switch over to stretch materials and knits. These are becoming available in an ever greater variety for all kinds of garments where you want an excellent fit and the greatest possible comfort. From the stretchability point of view, there are three types of material. First, the knits and jersey types. These fabrics stretch more or less in all directions. Second, the woven stretch fabrics. They stretch on the bias and in one additional direction. Third, the woven regular fabrics. They stretch on the bias. Now Miss Mortensen will show how to sew any fabric the modern way. For instance, which seams to use when making this jersey suit. To begin with, let's see what happens when you sew stretch or knit fabrics with an ordinary straight stitch. When you pull this seam, it breaks. That's why stretch fabrics require stretch seams. This is a new kind of straight stitch. Watch how the fabric moves back and forth so that you get an extra durable and elastic triple lock seam. And yet, it is a straight seam which can be pressed open. This seam is as elastic as any stretch fabric. You use it in stretch materials, of course, but also in regular fabrics wherever you need an especially strong seam. For example, when you put in a sleeve or sew crotch seams in slacks. This suit is sewn with the elastic straight stitch that you have just seen. Note how the seam stretches with the fabric. The modern sewing machine does everything. You don't have to sew one single stitch by hand. For overcasting the edges, you can either use an ordinary zigzag seam or still better overcast with a three-step zigzag as here. This seam has three small stitches in each zig and each zag. Isn't the edge very flat and even? Hemming a skirt by hand takes a lot of time. Using machine is more practical. Fold the hem as usual. Then put the cloth in backward, making the hem overlap a little. Hemming is precision work calling for slow motion sewing. Therefore, engage the slow gear by simply pulling this knob. You can easily sew stitch by stitch, and yet much faster than by hand. The finished hem is almost invisible on the right side of the fabric because the zigzag stitches catch only one thread at a time. This modern machine is very easy to operate. You merely turn these three controls on the front. These are the symbols for straight stitch and zigzag and for three-step zigzag. If you want a special stitch pattern, you find it on this pattern scale above the controls. If the stitch pattern you want is indicated in blue, you merely turn all three controls to blue. For a pattern that's shown in yellow on the scale, just turn the controls to yellow, and so on. Now let's make a buttonhole like this one. It's preferable to replace the ordinary presser foot with a special buttonhole foot, and it's done in a jiffy. The presser feet of this machine snap on or off in less than a second. Turn the three controls to the picture of a buttonhole. No need to turn the cloth. You just turn this control. First to one. And the machine sews the first column in reverse. Then to two, and the machine makes the first bar tack. Turn to three, and you get the second column. At four, the final bar tack, and the buttonhole is ready.
you cut it with the seam ripper which comes with the machine. And it's just as easy to sew on buttons. You drop the feed dog and set the controls to zigzag. Then place the button under the presser foot. The machine starts smoothly as soon as you press the foot control and sew a few stitches. To put on an inner facing in an armhole or around a neck is a lot easier if you use the free arm. Sew with the overlock stitch which joins the pieces and overcasts them in one operation and thus replaces both the straight seam and the zigzag overcasting. It's also useful wherever you need a narrow seam. The overlock stitch stretches with the material, important when you sew elastic fabrics or when you sew ordinary fabrics on the bias. Here is a new, easier method of sewing on zippers. You change to a special presser foot and after having made the top stitch, you place a piece of tape on the bottom side of the zipper with the sticky side up. Now you have basted the zipper. Sew from the bottom side, that gives a more attractive result. Sew as close to the teeth as possible. Place the other side of the opening over the zipper so that it overlaps a little and tape it on. Sew as close to the seam as possible from the bottom side on the seam allowance. And the zipper is sewn on. Now how to make an eyelet in a belt. There's a special plate which you place on top of the feed dog. You make a little hole in the belt and place it over the plate. Sew with a very close zigzag seam. Use the slow gear to get that superb speed control. Let's look at the suit again. Where do we use the different seams? The elastic straight seam was used to sew the pieces together. Overcasting was done with a three-step zigzag. A blind stitch made the hem. We also made a buttonhole and a button. The armhole was sewn with the overlock seam. This was the seam that sews together an overcast in one operation. And finally, the zipper and the eyelet. A modern sewing machine does many other things, and we'd like to show you some of them. Basting, for instance. Basting with a machine sometimes ends up with the upper fabric stretching out a little too much. To prevent this, you release the pressure on the pressure foot. And you can move the fabric very easily without stretching it. Engage the slow gear and you have complete speed control. Simply pull the fabric through and you get as long a stitch as you want. Now we come back to the three-step zigzag. This is the seam we use for overcasting the edges, but the three-step zigzag is also extremely useful for patching, mending, and darning. These trousers have a hole in the knee, as boys' trousers often have. You slide the trouser leg over the free arm. Take a piece of patching material and place it over the hole on the right side. Sew it on with three-step zigzag. You can sew backwards, as well as forwards. Another field of application for the three-step zigzag is terry cloth, that is, in beach garments, baby clothes, and so on. You sew the three-step zigzag from the back, and you get a very nice and soft seam, which is durable, too.
The machine also sews with two or three needles at a time, if you like. To make a raised seam, use a twin needle. Thread the machine as usual. Take a cord and place it under the guide. Turn the control to the symbol for straight stitch. Raised seams are attractive as a decoration on blouses and dresses. On slacks, raised seams can be used to produce permanent creases which don't need pressing. And here's the result. Appliques look nice in many places. They can be sewn on with a zigzag seam. The modern sewing machine, in addition, produces exquisite stitch patterns for decorating linens, dinner placemats, garments, and other things that you want to look more attractive and personal. You can make a monogram and many other designs by using the regular zigzag stitch. Just release the pressure on the pressure foot and you can guide the material freely by hand. Now let's have a look at the sewing machine itself. The thread tension control is built into the machine. The red dot indicates the normal tension, which is adequate for most sewing. You can take a very sheer fabric and get a good quality straight stitch or zigzag seam without adjusting the thread tension. You can also sew in very heavy materials without changing either needle or thread and without adjusting the thread tension. This is double leather, so you engage the slow gear, this time to get more powerful motor action. In the low gear, Viking gives you five times more power to sew through heavy material without stalling. Sometimes you happen to sew the thread down into the shuttle like this. Usually you jam the shuttle, but not in this case. All the thread is whirled around this little projection. You just remove the thread and go on sewing again. The Viking shuttle is 100% jam proof. Well, this has been a short demonstration of modern sewing with the Viking sewing machine. Yes, and descriptive literature is available giving further details. And our local representative will be pleased to answer any additional question you might have. We hope you enjoyed the demonstration and thank you for your interest.